Uh, teardown time. Uh, this is the analysis of the uh, silicon on the uh, EEV bog microcurrent. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, this might sound familiar. I did a video on the same topic about, about three weeks ago. Uh, unfortunately, during the analysis there, I managed to wash the op-amp dyes down the sink before I could analyze them with the microscope. Uh, so I went off and uh, grabbed a couple ones uh, from DigiKey. Uh, so we can take a look at them as well. Um, there's a tremendous difference in price between these two, and I want to figure out why. One is 71 cents in a one-off pricing, and the other one came in at $2.76. And if you open the schematic here, it doesn't look like they're much different in terms of op-amps, so clearly something's driving the costs. Uh, either the silicon here will be quite a bit different in area, or I suspect the uh, trimming or some sort of process step is driving the cost of the uh, maximum part higher. Okay, well I have my answer as to why one costs more than the other. There's two silicon dies in the slide, and it's very hard to see one of them. Uh, this is the uh, maximum part here, looking uh, relatively small, but believe it or not, right up here in this little dot, which is probably virtually impossible to see, uh, is another piece of silicon, and that's the uh, LM321, uh, the regular op-amp. What gets really interesting, let me just pop up the microphotograph of the whole die, and it's a nice small little die of this LM321, uh, but then when I zoom into the uh, mass copyright date, I can see that it's... Uh, uh, Fairchild Semiconductor, FSC, and if I come up to its part number, I see FAN4114, and if you Google search that, that is indeed a op-amp offered by Fairchild, so I guess this is a uh, compatible or equivalency of this part, uh, even though it was sold as an LM321, uh, it is most certainly a Fairchild FAN4114. Interesting. Okay, uh, coming over to the uh, much larger Maxim part, uh, we can see the die there. Uh, let me just uh, race across a nice little inset uh, picture of uh, the die's complexity. Uh, you truly are getting a lot more silicon here. This uh, chopper stabilized amplifier uh, brings a lot of complexity to the table and looks like it's well worth the uh, price premium. And uh, here was the die marking here, just confirming it indeed is a maximum part, uh, not a, uh, a knockoff. Excellent. Well, now I know. Uh, that was the uh, two final pieces of uh, silicon. Okay, well, if you'd like to uh, get more details on the dies, as always, I put more information on my blog at electronupdate.blogspot.com. And uh, that is the final two dies on the uh, EEV blog uh, microcurrent.